storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Well, welcome back, my friends. I am joined by a very special guest right here. This is Sunny. You may know her, Maureen Dudley. She's KIMT News 3 reporter, usually during the 4 and the 5 o'clock. This is her kitty, and she crocheted that beautiful sun hat for little Sunny just to celebrate the sunny days that we have and the wildfire smoke moving out. He, what are you looking at there, buddy? <laughs> He's an absolute sweetheart, and I just love how we have matching, you know, cow outfits today. We're celebrating the sunshine, and yes, I know your foot's kind of sticking out here. Nick, would you feel free I'll to grab ahead. him? I'll go ahead and take Sunny. Excellent. So, yes. Sunny, say goodbye. I'm so glad goodbye, he was Sunny. able to yes. come and... Oh, there we go. He is such a good boy. He's got the <laughs> leash. He walks on it perfectly. Yes. So, look at you. You're being so good here. Bye-bye. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Nick. Now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna grab my clicker, but yes, it is a sunny day, beautiful out, and I'm so glad Sunny could join us on this gorgeous day, especially with that wildfire smoke heading out. We do have some more clouds, though, so the milky sky that we're seeing over Rochester this time isn't the wildfire smoke. It's the cloud cover. So taking a look at that wildfire smoke, though, there is still plenty to be seen. Most of it is further off to the west and further off to the east. I'll zoom things out so we can see pretty far off to the east right now. And you might be seeing this here to the west coming our way. Well, don't worry. We've got some things playing with us here that's going to help keep a lot of that out of the way alongside some additional chances for rain. Now let's talk about that. Satellite and radar here continuing to show some of these thinner clouds move our way. We had some thicker ones not too long ago. Those are heading across the Mississippi. I'm going to zoom things out now. We can see this is all the remnants of what was once Hurricane Francine, Tropical Depression Francine. It has, of course, broken apart and is now just shooting tropical moisture into our area. It's blocked there, making its northern route because of high pressure that's kind of keeping it there. You can see the northeast pretty clear right now. It's a little different further to the south and the west. Now, a little further west than that, we can see this coming our way, and that's kind of holding a lot of that additional wildfire smoke as well as some rain chances. It's a cold front. But now let's move on to Sky Tracker 3, and we're going to see how it all interacts. I'll push time forward. Not too much to see quite yet. This is around 5 p.m. All I wanted to do is just point out that clouds will be thickening up. Then we start to see some rain chances come our way as we get into late tonight. This is around 11 p.m. and uh, more into our Saturday early morning. Now we start to see that cold front beginning to approach as we get into the overnight. But watch, when it tries to bring some rain, all of this is just going to basically shoot it further to the north. Sure, we still see chances for scattered showers through our Saturday. This is all the tropical moisture. Everything trying to come in from the west just gets pushed northward, including the additional wildfire smoke. All right, I know that was a lot. So here's just another way of looking at it. Scattered showers expected here for our Saturday, Saturday and that's basically it for tonight. Not much to really worry about at all. It's going to be a fantastic cloudy evening for Friday night football temperatures right around the 70 degree mark. To me, Nick, that feels pretty darn good. Yes. And then that rain chance comes Saturday. After that, we're back to the 80s and we stay steady through the next week. Pretty nice. And you know, it's always nice to have a little visitor, a feline I forecast. I love him. Sonny <laughs> is such a sweetheart and uh, I was so happy to bring him on today. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so the weekend looks good. I think uh, rain's not gonna bother, bother things too much. So. Not too much, yeah. All right, thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm.